Hi. I thought I would try to explain a role that was taught to me many years ago by Brendan Mulvihill. Brendan, of course, is a great fiddle player, but he's also a very good whistle player. And when I was starting out, uh, he showed me an ornament that he called a flute roll. And I haven't seen many other people do it, so I thought I'd try to break it down for you. Let's go through the basics of a roll. I'll do this on the G. So a roll is the note plus a cut and then the note and a tap. Usually if you start out you play it in time. That's a long roll. It takes a dotted quarters worth of music. Um, a short roll is just sounding the cut first. And that's a quarter note's worth. Now, if you move the ornaments toward the end of the note, you get something more like this. Which is almost like the note plus a short roll at the end. So the flute roll is that cut and tap toward the end with an additional tap right at the start of the note. So two taps. The taps alone just look like this. So it's tap, note, cut, And it can work all right by itself. Here's an example on the beginning of a, a jig. But it's really good if you use a leading note in a reel. So it works uh, well on the G. I can do it on the F, and it's really nice on the E. So on a, in a reel, it would be. Really spices up that bottom note. I cannot do it well on with my left hand, so I'm only good at um, doing the double tap with my right. But um, fool around with it, see if you like it. 